out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, we back. Good fellow sports TV we're in the building and uh, talk a little bit about the Joshua Ruiz tickets. I was looking at it yesterday while I was chilling and um, I'm looking like, damn, OK, it's so better than I thought it would. And then um, and I link uh, the ticket master, whatever the tickets box office link in the description so you can see it for yourself. And um, I hit the resale uh, uh, button and everything turned blue, man. But let's talk about it. We back. Good fellow sports TV we're in the building. Appreciate the love support. Yeah, I do a little prediction video for Weez and Joshua. I already start looking at film and break down some more film shortly. Um, but, but yeah, man, um, they ain't sold shit for real. And Eddie Hearn told the media that he expects eight thousand Brits to be there um, tomorrow. I mean Saturday, excuse me. But it looked like they got like eight thousand comps. It looked like they comped everybody. The whole screen is blue. It's a bunch of comps. Now comps is when they give tickets away, pretty much. And um, I, I didn't expect this fight to be a huge seller, uh, even from the Jarrell Miller standpoint. Miller sold the fight with his mouth, but where has to be where's, where where has the promotion for this fight be, been in America? They haven't promoted well. The Matchroom side of things or the Golden Boy side of things, they haven't promoted fights well at all. Okay, Andrew Ruiz is a virtuoso or virtually a nobody in the United States. Nobody knows Andrew Ruiz. Some people know the twelfth man on their favorite NBA team. Or some people know G League players more than Andy Ruiz. We know college basketball players more than Andy Ruiz. We know college baseball players more than Andy Ruiz. Okay? We know WNBA players before we know Andy Ruiz. So I don't know how they expected this to sell really, really good. It's a late replacement fight. Um, but it ain't it ain't moving nothing. It ain't I ain't seen one commercial promoting the fight. You know, I haven't seen I seen AJ on ESPN. If ESPN is supposed to be this huge megaphone, then, um, you know, even when, you know, people that's not on ESPN come on ESPN as far as fighters, why aren't they fights blowing up? You know, ESPN can't even, you know, blow up they, they fighters up on fighting on ESPN or the ESPN Plus app or pay-per-view. You know, how you know how they really going to get the traction for Anthony Joshua? And like I said, when people see Andy Ruiz, they're like, man, this dude fighting a fucking bum. You know, people in the UK, people probably say he should have just fought Dad Dave Allen, or he should have fought Lucas Brown or some shit like that. But then again, like I said before, it gives Deontay Wilder some some validity to a statement that Anthony Joshua in the states because it ain't no more money in the UK for real. The big money in the United States, and he ain't doing a great job, you know, selling this fight. Regardless if it was Miller, this fight was doing piss poor ticket sales, and then also they haven't really dropped the the money for the tickets. If you still going to the nosebleed section at the top of Master Square Garden, it's three hundred and three dollars. So they really ain't even cut the price of the ticket. They they upcharging the ticket to make the gate go higher, but in actuality, they buying all the tickets to make it like it's sold. They buying they buying all the tickets and giving them away. You know what I'm saying? Or they doing a two for one, like Fred said from Barbershop Conversation. Salute to that brother. You know what I'm saying? They doing they they giving tickets away. If you if you want to go to this fight, don't buy no ticket. Go to Master Square Garden and stand out in front. Or go to Penn the Penn train station. I guarantee you you'll get off of free tickets. And and it's a shame though that he he going here talking like he tough. But I see what Deontay Wilder is doing. They starving them out for a better split. They trying to show the zone like shit, look here, man. I put and then Eddie Hearn said he only put six thousand in the Barclays Center. I wasn't paying attention to the crowd, right? So I don't know the true attendance for, for what Wilder did at the Barclays Center, but I'll tell you this, it ain't even 6,000 real tickets sold in the Master Square Garden. And it hosts 20,000, 21, 22,000 people for a boxing event or whatever it is. It ain't even, they haven't even sold 6,000 tickets. They comped 6,000 tickets. They bought up 6,000 tickets. They bought up the whole arena for the most part. Once you hit that, re, that verify resale button, the whole arena is blue. And at the end of the day, how are you going to charge somebody to see this caliber of fight? This is a, a bum bash. I'm sorry. Andrew Ruiz, he's 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 a, he's an okay fighter. He, the chance of an upset is always there because it's the heavyweight division. But just knowing what you know with the, the scorecards and, and 
just as they got a big contract investing into Canelo Alvarez, they got a big investment in Anthony Joshua as far as they he wanted their key hogs to pull the zone. So Andrew Ruiz got to knock this guy out. And I don't think, you know, without a lot of body work, Andrew Ruiz will. He's behind the eight ball in this fight. But then again, you get a Hispanic replacement to come out east. That don't work. And even if it was Miller, like, what average American living in New York City or willing to go to New York City from Cali, from New Mexico, from uh, Oregon, Seattle, uh, Vegas, Florida, Texas, you mean even Indiana, Milwaukee, Minnesota, Detroit, you know, even now, you know, going down to Kentucky, Bowling Green, all down there. What what willing do what willing person want to come all the way out there, drive or fly, take the train or bus, all the way out there, pay for a hotel room, and then your ticket is more than your more than your hotel room. Three hundred three dollars just to get in the building. I I can go to New York and, and take three hundred dollars and, and eat and shop and, and, and enjoy myself. Instead of going through a whole car full of fighters, full of British fighters that I don't want to see. And 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 bum bashes. Are they crazy? Three hundred and three dollars to get in the door. And then what they doing is buying all the tickets up to seem like it's being bought. Oh, we look how many tickets we sold. We we sold twenty thousand like you bought them though. Real talk, you took a loss. I told people AJ ain't no international pool, but like I said before, I understand what Wilder doing. I do. But I ain't with the games. I, mean, I want to see the best fight the best. I don't care about your I declare war or strategic uh your strategic uh board game mentality to, to get a better split. Like, dude, before you look up, you're gonna be 36, 37, 40 years old and still ain't got this fight. You know, if I feel like I'm a win, dude, okay, I'll take a loss, a little bit of a loss, knowing that I'm a win and beat his ass, and I'm I'm gonna get that that loss back. But yeah, what they comp Andy Ruiz and shit? What they thought the Mexicans was gonna travel for Andy Ruiz? A lot of Hispanic people don't even know the fuck Andy Ruiz is. You know he look like fight, Fat Canelo, man. He look like Fat Canelo. Canelo moved up to 100, 200 pounds, Holmes. You know what I'm saying? You know, but hey, man, credit to to Andy Ruiz. I don't know how much he making for this fight. Probably five, four, six, seven million dollars. Probably not seven, but shit. At the end of the day, can he win? It's the question. You know, and if he win, I think everybody lose in this situation. I think Anthony Joshua lose. I think uh, Deontay Wilder lose, even though people say, oh, PBC got the belt, though. Yeah, they do, but guess what? It ain't no ain't no more $100 million, billion dollar fight like Deontay Wilder was preaching. But Eddie Hearn full of shit, though. Ain't nobody coming to this fight, bro. Ain't nobody coming to this fight. All, all the whole stadium is blue. I was like, okay, it's selling pretty good. And I hit the resale button. And you slide it over. You just hitting the slide over. Everything turned blue. Like, really? Like, you really expect people to drop $300 to come through the door to see Auntie Joshua? Like, he's an unknown commodity. Who, I mean, who want to f- watch a guy fight with two first names? Who who come to New York to see to see a Brit? He said, we got 8,000 Brits going to come over. Yeah, right. So you comped them to come over. You comped them. You gave them free tickets. You probably accommodated them, play for their flights as well, too. You got 8,000 Brits that's going to come over. Yeah, right. We should have just kept it in Britain then. If that's the point. If you still if you still counting on, on the British dollar, and you counting on the British fan to pull Anthony Joshua in America, keep his ass over there then. Because it's really supposed to be, it, this, this stadium really supposed to be 15,000 Americans come to see the big global star Anthony Joshua fight. You know what I'm saying? Then the other seven, five, seven, eight thousand should be Brits. And I ain't heard one person, you know, say I'm going to the Joshua fight on my timeline on social media. Not selling, bro. And that's sad. That's a sad case, man. He eventually gonna have to cave in a water. It might not be this year, next year, whatever the situation may be. He may cave this year looking for that fight. Cause at the rate the zone going, ain't nobody watching this fight this Saturday for real. It might be a couple of people that watch. Most people gonna stream it anyway. Ain't nobody watching this shit. So they gonna be begging Wilder. Sound like James Brown, baby, please. But y'all know what it is. Good fellow sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if need be. If you have a business question, acquire response, ship, or video requests. 
And also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GoodFellow1Boxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products, soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair palm, made much, much more. Website, promo code in the, in the description. Keep sharing the videos. We'll make a donation. That link's in the description. Share, share, share. It's the best way to help out. Blessings to the brothers and sisters out there. We gone.